Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Adam Smith. I'm a reliability specialist with HECO PSG. This is Jacob Bell. He's also a reliability specialist. Uh, he'll be giving you the second part of this presentation. A little bit about myself. Uh, I'm an ISO vibration analyst level three. Uh, before I started into vibration, I originally came from South Carolina. I was in the Marine Corps for 10 years. And while in the service, I, uh, I did non-destructive inspection, which kind of is how I got into this field. I was getting ready to get out and I was looking for stuff in this area that kind of pertained to non-destructive inspection and I found vibration analysis. And I thought it was pretty interesting and stuff, so I, I was trying to figure out how to get into it. So I found the uh, Vibration Institute and I called them up. And I talked to this lady named Sue and she was a real nice lady and she got me started doing a correspondence course and told me that she could give me somebody that could proctor me in this area whenever I got out. So I, I did the course and everything, got out, called the guy up. He said, okay, no problem proctoring you, but before we do that, can I uh, take you out in the field and show you what it's like? You know, do some OJT. I said, that would be, yeah, be great. And uh, he took me out there for a couple hours. We went to lunch and he said, hey, we want to offer you a job. It was Thomas Patel, you know, Jason's dad, our, our uh, HECO manager now. And that's pretty much how I, I got into vibration. I've been doing it for two and a half years. Okay, this is going to be a basic course about vibration analysis. Um, our objective is to understand the basic concept of vibration analysis and how it can be implemented into your facility, how it can benefit your facility, how to select which equipment should be surveyed and how often. If you got any questions or anything, feel free to ask me anytime. Go ahead. Okay, so spectrum analysis. The spectrum plot is generated from the time waveform. Hit that next slide. This is the time wave. This is not what it looks like in real life. This is just an example. It looks a little more uh, filled out and there's a lot more stuff going on in it. And this is kind of an example of how FFT works. The time wave points are collected on this to create this spectrum that shows that one single frequency. Okay. The, st the spectrum makes each individual frequency easier to see. Some of the older people, they like the time wave, and it is good for analysis to, to some, for some things, but now that we have the, the spectrum to look at each individual frequency, it does work very well. In basic terms, each component generates a single frequency. If you have a motor that's hooked to a belt, that's hooked to a fan, you're going to have a frequency that's separate for your motor. You're going to have a frequency that's separate for your bearing, all different parts of your bearing if, if you had an issue. You're going to have a belt frequency. You're going to have a fan frequency if it's running at a different speed. And that's the good thing about it. That's how we correlate where the fault's actually coming from to, in, to investigate it. Real spectrum are far more complicated than patterns shown here. This is more like what you're going to see. This is a time wave, and this is uh, a spectrum. You're going to have a whole bunch of frequencies in here, and then you're going to have a whole bunch of frequencies up here. And you have to be able to decide if these frequencies are, are false or if this is just a running speed thing or, or what. But you can see the amplitude here. It's 0 0.01, and that's just a lot of floor stuff that's just raised up because the scale is so low. All right, time wave analysis. The waveform shows what happens from one moment to the next. The spectrum summarizes everything that happened while that data was recorded. And down here is just a couple examples of pattern recognition that you'd see in the time wave. Uh, you know, random noise or modulation or beat. Beat is basically when two components are really close together. They will go in and out of phase with each other and cause a, a beat. It actually sounds like a woom, woom, woom. I'm sure you've probably heard it walking around plants. And then, you know, you got stuff like rub and trunnication that you can see in the, in the uh, time wave. The time wave is very important for analysis. If you have impacting present, then it can be an immediate way to determine bearing, bearing or gear damage. This is an example of a time wave with impacting in it. And what these are, are spurts of energy and ring down. So, and what that is, is if you got a bearing and it has damage in it, Every time the ball or whatever passes that damage, you're going to have a, a high spurt of energy, so an impact. And the same thing for gear. If you have a broken tooth or wear or anything like that, when it passes the spot, 
it'll do the same thing. So it's easy to determine or to see that you have a, a issue when you get a time wave like that.